My name is Lyndon Aller and I am majoring in mathematics here at the University of Arkansas. I am here at Thorn Crown Chapel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. The chapel was designed by the architect Faye Jones. Mr. Jones was originally born in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, but would eventually move to and settle in Fayetteville, Arkansas. He would attend the University of Arkansas's architecture program as it was just beginning after being discharged from the Navy in 1945 and eventually he would go on to be the Dean of the University of Arkansas's architecture program. The lines of the building draw your eyes upward to the top of the chapel. This is reminiscent of a great Gothic cathedral that pulls your eyes towards the top of its tower. Geometric shapes play a prominent role in the design. Triangles and diamond shapes abound in the structure and the diamond shaped void emphasizes the verticality of the structure. The repeated geometric designs draw your eye upward and in and creates a play of pattern and light. There is a balance to the design. All of the shapes are symmetrical and the patterns repeat in a way that balances out the design. A shape on one side will have the same shape mirroring it on the other side and a shape in the middle will have the same shape mirroring it above. The design is influenced by the origins and personal beliefs of Faye Jones. Faye Jones grew up in Arkansas and at the time of the design of this project he was back in Fayetteville and residing in his home state. Upon viewing this design, one of the first things that stand out is its natural aesthetic. It seems at one with the surrounding force and doesn't seem out of place at all. This is a design element that is prevalent in Jones's work. A belief of his was that it was beneficial if your design is close to the natural world. He thought there surely is a benefit to learning to be close to the natural cycle and living at peace with it. The natural design and site of the building is a homage to the area that was his home at the time. The setting and natural materials echo the environment around them, the Ozark Mountains of Northwest Arkansas. One of the primary influences of Faye Jones was Frank Lloyd Wright and the Prairie Style of Architecture. Wright launched the Prairie Style, which sought to integrate architecture with nature. It featured rectangular shapes and shifting horizontal planes, which recalled the Cubist aesthetic. Wright's Prairie Style houses would feature elements that were in complement to the landscape around them. Natural rocks would sometimes be used in the house. The use of colors that might contrast their surroundings, but are natural in their origins. Large glass panes are also frequently used in the designs. These allow a constant viewing of the natural surroundings. The designs of Wright seem to grow out of the surrounding landscape. Their design is intended to be as unobtrusive as possible. There are obvious similarities to Wright's style and thorn crown. One is the use of natural materials. The chapel is constructed from southern pine 2x4s, 2x6s, and 2x12s local field stone, and glass. These materials were selected to suit the environment around the chapel. Jones went as far as to not only produce a chapel that complemented the nature around it, he also made sure the actual environment would not be disturbed as well. All of the materials were chosen to not be too large that two men could not carry them through the woods so as not to damage the forest. The design is meant to be as organic as possible. In the same way that Wright's houses seem to grow out of the landscape, Jones's tall chapel, with its narrower base and wider top, fits in well with the trees that surround it. Where Wright style used the rectangle as a primary geometric feature, in this design, Jones's features the triangle and the diamond as his primary geometric shapes. Another influence that isn't as obvious as Wright's is that of Gothic cathedrals. Thorn Crown is partly Jones's play on Gothic cathedrals, but altered. While the design alludes to Gothic cathedrals, those usually feature repeated external buttresses. This design pulls us inward and up instead of outward and up. This is Jones's own play on the style and is called The Operative Opposite. I chose this piece in part because of its significance. I am new to the area and I didn't know that there was a piece of such architectural significance anywhere near Fayetteville. Thorn Crown Chapel has achieved significant international and national attention and is considered by many to be the most significant piece of architecture built in the 1980s. I was also drawn to the design of the chapel. I do not think I have ever seen a building that was so obviously man-made seem like it was such a natural piece of the environment. Thorn Crown perfectly fits in with the surrounding trees, and that is quite stunning. I feel that a work of art like this that is so significant and beautiful should not go unseen, especially when it's right in our backyard.